right? Like, I don't understand. It's not like I'm going on, like, weekend party benders to extravagant parties and then being like, oh no, I don't have enough money. Your income went down, your taxes isn't adjusted. Well, you gotta, you gotta pay RSP, all right? We don't have to, but it takes away from your taxes. You gotta pay taxes, you gotta pay your mortgage, you gotta pay all your bills and shit, right? But, like, this year's taxes will not be nearly as high as last year because, yes, income went down. But you still have to pay your taxes, right? Unless you want to get a uh, very hefty interest. Uh, wait, what's it doing? Oh, I see. Fuck, 80% less damage. Mr. Rob's getting rent increase this year. And it's something I've thought about. But like, it's also not a, a an easy topic to bring up. B, it's not like he's like super wealthy or anything. Either. True P shack. Nothing will ever be as convoluted as the American tax system. Well, I'm Canadian, but I mean, it's, it's very simple, right? Depending on your given income in a year, you pay X dollars in taxes. After they, you know, factor in all your tax deductible shit. So when I get home, I have to do all those taxes. My estimate with it is that it'll be about 30K this year. Last year it was like 75,000, something like that. My taxes. And that was after a $42,000 RRSP deposit. So when you're, when you're expecting to spend about 40 to 50,000 and then all of a sudden it's like JK, it's actually 110,000, kind of puts a little bit of a financial strain on you, right? As a human being. So it's kind of hard to say like, oh, well, why didn't you just save up money for taxes this year? It's like, well, I did, but they're all gone now because they're fucking consumed in last year's taxes. Because I got double income on here because of delayed payments, right? Like, do, do, do you guys understand that? Like, do you understand how that works? I, I understand. Jimmy, it's something that's discussed on the stream, and I mean, I agree, it was Ken Tiger started hammering away to kind of piss me off. Right? Like, it's, it's not like I don't understand how, like, finances work and shit, right? Mm. Anyways. Let's move on from the taxes, shall we? No, you don't. I'm American. I don't know if your guys' taxes work differently than Canada's. I assume they don't, though. You want to bully can't tiger? No, it's fine, dude. It's whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> Ten cents of Bob Day moves. Should be dead. <sighs> and I wish they'd get like some kind of different stuff to these fights. There's been like one system introduction the entire game. I must say, the fights in this game certainly aren't the strong suit. kind of become like, oh god, another fight instead of like, oh, here's like, you know, like in BG3, it's like, oh, here's like a creative, cool new puzzle to try and solve. 
difficult new setting, new abilities, new enemies. Now it's kind of just like, well, it's literally the same three enemies again. Let's go. NVIDIA announced a new GPU series named Blackwell for their, like, 5K cards. Or, like, an entire separate line from that period. I was just thinking all the fights follow the exact same pattern. You punch, and then you heal, and then you punch. Yeah, bed, uh, bed sheets are strewn around carelessly. A snuff box with cocoa leaves. Uh, the sloppily thrown aside bandages bear traces of blood. A battered handmade punching bag looks sturdy. Scattered close to just someone lives here. Mr. Cat, why do you stare at me, man? Javier has created a veritable bachelor's den for himself on the barge, which this is where he lives, trains hard, celebrates victories in the company of women, or has them console him after losses. It seems that his life revolves around fighting. I should look around for the neighborhood for a sports club. Looks or a like room. Javier trains. Is, is there new AI stuff? I told you something that was snooping around. The Flatfoots are gone, but I got a hunch I'm gonna have trouble with you. Interesting hunch. We taking him to Ariel? Nah, we'll do this. You do our have the way. you do have the option to make quarterly payments, but you have to like tell them well a year in advance, Horace. Bro, seriously? <laughs> Fucking hell! I turn around for one goddamn second, dude. Just focus the other round, every round. Just gonna take this for the health, although we can. I feel like the focus system is just like not something you ever pay attention to either. I just kill them well before I drop their focus and do the finisher essentially. More fighting. <laughs> Amazing. I like. Hit. Play the 50% procs for triple damage. Pretty sure that got auto modded because it incited killing. I can't all tap back to pause the game. thing. Damage take about 40%. And like half of these traits you, don't, you could just ignore. Like the ones that focus, you just ignore. The ones that are like, can't get a debuff, then you just don't bleed them. Things like that. It's a little, all sus good. Spend all your points. <laughs> Enough of this, Narishkeet. Say who you are and what you're doing on my turf. Who? Oh, this is like a random Sally tour here. It's a little crude to shove your way into someone's head without asking. You don't have the guts to look me in the eye. It's better that way. We can talk as equals. What are you making such a gavolt for? What do you want? I'm looking for Javier. What for? Let's say I need his services yes, urgently. Test Is that without all? the bad stuff. I took you for someone else. It's fine. I can I introduce you to Javier. You interested? I know Javier likes to fight. So, should we head to the boxing ring? Something like that. I see you've sniffed out what you can. Shall we? 
Maybe we're gonna set off together. I, I mean, here, let me check. Uh, although, to be fair, there is no auto mod tag on them. Like, there's no option to approve or disapprove. Lead the way. Or deny. You sure changed your tune quickly. Ah, uh, so that is weird. Welcome to Povishla. Fighting first, hugging later. Ariel Rafi. Stick with me and they won't touch a hair on your head. Just don't come on Saturdays. <laughs> Welcome to the dungeon. A mecca of gambling and violence. You see the box above the ring? I'll wait there. Make yourself comfortable. Put a bet on the fight. And come find me. And free XP, bros. Lost to bet. Javier's fist. Brochure. Place your bets, ladies and gents. Don't miss the chance to earn some dough. How about a bet? I'd like to bet on the fight. On Boschik or on everybody else? I'll put a rubble on a Boschik. Corking choice. You take IOUs? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was excited sure, to see what you said. Why is that uh, Italian? Is it stable or is it laggy? Slash buggy. Thunderstorm, that is. The name Pachi has been embroidered around the wrists. Boxing gloves. Something else. It must be on the other side. Oh, it's just not your thing? Very stable. Familiar trace. Ted, have you tried just killing everyone before you talk to them? You know it's gonna happen anyways. There you go. The trace on boxing gloves is the same one I found on punching bags in the barge. Massage equipment, rollers and compressors. Listen again. Excuse me, are you ladies fighting here? Yep, Bessie and Alice Gordon from Buffalo Bills. They're a problem. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> not at all. I'm wondering how you ended up here. Getting even. We got a score to settle. Ugh, sure do. With Barstick. That fucker was going with me for a while. Only he didn't mention. He was dating me too. We're gonna jog his memory. American style. With violence. <laughs> I see. Good luck in the fight. True. Dude up here. You're fretting, Ariel. His hips are fine. Or is that a pirate Shouldn't from the Shouldn't you be at storm home right now with your husband? And you, what are you doing here? Barstik, meet Victor Sholsky. He has business with Javier, and he'll do anything to meet him. Anything? Anything. Victor is a tomaturge, and it might make for a fantastic main attraction. What do you think? Bro, we're gonna have to... Sorry, what? What? A magician in the oh ring? Oh we're gonna have to fight yeah. some fucking random yohos for a bit. Yeah, so you know you're talking to Javier. Enough kidding around, Barstuk. I know you are Javier. Well, you almost impressed me. Javier Sanchez via Conejito Ramirez. Of course. Now that we know you ain't just anybody, maybe you can show us if you're the real deal, but just some stiff from downtown. You getting in the ring? I will not fight. I can see clean through you. I've got nothing to prove. I want to talk business. El Gringo Valiente is right. He deserves it. Let's go. Amigo. You Holy shit, we actually got out of a fight? Fun. No Tell way. Tell me why. Bro, I literally see an allow hornet. Oh, yes, there you go. Daddy. Ted, have you tried just killing everyone before you talk to them? You know it's gonna happen anyways. That's great. Wait, what was that whole fast for? What for? What for? Because Barstick's got a sore hip. That's what for. Mentiras y calumnias. Get to the point. I need a smuggler. 
I know, Mago. Say what you need me to smuggle. Who? One lady needs to discreetly leave the Russian partition and get to Vienna. For how much? I'm sure she can afford it. She can afford it. Let's just say she's quite far up in high society. A rich chica wants to go to Vienna? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure somebody is looking for this clafter. Otherwise, she'd get on a train. If they catch us, it's la muerte para nuestros amigos. However, fortune favors chutzpah, after all. Al diablo. The river giveth, the river taketh away. Vámonos. Well, you share the profits. Does that mean I'll get a share of the dough? No. <laughs> we don't like each other that much. So, what's now? Now, go get the lady, and we'll meet at Port Praga at night. But tell that clafter of yours that it ain't gonna be a tea party. Adios. Alright. Go to the home and pick up Svetlana. What is Rasputin gonna come with us to? But they've been beating the shit out of that guy in the ring the entire time I've been here. I don't know. I, I saw it fine, Brady. Just FYI. Yes, I can see I can approve that. Oh, yes, Daddy. Test fuck you, Sloat. There you go. Well done. Hold it, Tempermancer. For I am White Roman. Excuse me. Pardon? You are Viktor Sulski, son of Stanislav. Your family is famous for its powerful tempermancers. Point out that you're the most powerful. Ask what he wants. Did someone send you? What do you want? I am a master of tempermancy, White Roman, and I challenge you to a duel. Everything is at stake. The winner will be declared king of the Tempermancers. Bro, fuck this guy. Who has time for this shit? If you insist. The memorable moment is here. To me, devoted visitors. To me, salutors. Oh, God. I thought we were actually going to have like a... Okay. I thought we are actually going to fight like other salutors and stuff. States, I mean, to negative states, I mean, those this literally don't matter. Like, you just not put bleeds on them. Just go for big damage instead. Oh, bitch. So this guy's just a crazy dude who thinks his homies are salutary. So got it. Triple damage procs. I did not proc. And try again. Oh, that was a meaty sound. Close. 
That was like an ult because we're, we lost all our focus. <laughs> nice and proc. And then your guy's gonna die too. We literally just picked up two more health too. So let's save this fight. Wait, this guy's not dead? Really? Wait, this is bad. It's actually very bad. I don't think we can get a heal before he hits us again. Kill before he kills us. Okay, that interrupted his attack. Then his Twitch keep freezing. Yeah, it's been a problem again. That you today, also Sarah, you're not the only one. valuable and instructive lesson from this. I accept the title of King of the Temper Mancers. I haven't dropped any more frames yet. I would so. suggest, but even that wouldn't be like a buffering thing. Your salutor strain yourselves anymore. Your triumph is temporary, Victor Shulsky. I have not yet said my last word. I will find you when you are ready for the next fight. Okay. That's what I'm afraid of. The things people come up with. That was a GTFO. It's happening to every streamer you watch. Okay, that's shitty but comforting. Because that means it's not just an hour stream thing this time. Mr. Shitsky. Bro. Make a retort. Fuck You're not exactly a morning lark yourself. Is Rasputin in? Sadly, yes. She's a bitch every time. No reason. Oh, he's here. They're all saying prayers? Am I bothering you? Not at all. I've just got a few people together who I can assist with their spiritual purification. Have you come to get our friend? It's yes. Yes. I'll get her out of here. Watch out for yourself, too. Thank you. What was the point of the say yes option and then the say yes, but like leave immediately option? They both ended conversation with them. I hope that you've had a hospitable stay. You have uh, unsettling friends, truly. <laughs> the Nadarzynskis are reserved and boring, unlike that uh, Grigory. What do you think of him? I don't. I'd like to leave this place now, if possible. Let's go. We'd better get a move on. Finally, don't forget my luggage. What's in the chest? How many dresses and pairs of stockings do you need? As many as I'd like. I have some very profitable secrets in that chest. Blackmail? Insurance. Correspondence with various people who aren't entirely aware that I didn't burn their letters. But she gets around. Do I understand that this time around I'll be lugging the chest myself? Hurry up. Look around this ain't a museum. Head down. That building in front of you. The entrance is around the corner. They decided you pick some not very to very interesting people to work with. They decided not What's to like that? hide her face and outfit and shit. From now on, that's your problem. Entrance around the corner, right? Where the fuck are we? Where's the world maps concerned? Oh. No, it's just up in here. Surely this will turn out well, right? Forged documents, more forged documents, some nice music, Debussy, police orders. I hope you know what you're doing. 
Did you want a pumpkin carriage and some glass slippers, senora? Smuggling ain't as romantic as that. Javier, yes? I've outgrown fairy tales. I'm here to make a deal. I left that fucking chest by the door. I could barely lug it. Big as a whale's two heads. What is it? We gotta do something or like just a tokus? Like a stand bite? here and stare. That's for details of the plane. So what's the plan? What are we doing? You'll get papers. Austrian ones. Almost authentic, but don't go flashing them left and right. Then it's off to the pier and onto a boat out of the city. Then a steamship upriver. In Krakow, a transfer to a Vienna-bound train. He'll be there in a few days. Si, sí, bueno. As soon as we agree on the money. If this is going to work, then we need to get going. Ariel, you go to the puerto and call the little captain. La señora will get changed. And we'll follow oh, after you. Victor will come making too. some effort to conceal her we'll identity. see if anyone's following us. Что? I do what? What you paid for. Via Candios, my friend. Agita Nar, Shaifella. Huh? Go to the pier. Oh, we have to fall. Remember, there's always the option chat to watch uh, YouTube if you need. Like even as just the video, you can always just pop out the VOD or the uh, video player and put it over the Twitch one or pop out Twitch chat and watch YouTube. Like if the video's crapping out here. What's all this miss? Actually, footprints in the mud. Oh no, here we go. I'm the judge of the law and I'm the executioner. You damn wife fucker. You've ruined my life. <laughs> Your chica did what she wanted. Victor, tell him I'm right. Two of you? I'll fuck you both up. I'm going to get killed because someone disrespected the sanctity of marriage. Shit. Where wasn't she what is she comment day, man? She fooled around she had an affair with her dad. What we got here? Bukovac, Lelik, Vilish. Some random bald guy with a mustache. He needs to go first. Of London Bridge, if he was in England. Jesus. What was this? First attack on this target incurs a counterattack from all enemies. It's not ideal. Uh... I'm gonna stack like 50 bleeds on me. the bleed on oh wait no it's this guy oh he just put a counter attack thing up that's not good Jeez. 
should get rid of our bleed. Ain't blood the other guy, who cares? Just in case. 